My name is Siobhan Johnson. I am 37 years old and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've been an FBI agent for 12 and a half years. I was actually inspired to become an FBI special agent by watching a movie. Me and my sister used to watch movies a lot and we once saw one that featured two really strong female FBI trainees and we thought wouldn't it be neat one day to grow up and be just as strong. So really that was what inspired me. If I weren't a special agent, I would probably be an interpreter. I've studied a lot of foreign languages and my fluent Japanese skills are what actually brought me to the FBI, but I've also studied French, Chinese, Korean, um, Spanish, and so I think I would really have enjoyed a position doing some sort of interpretation. I knew that my biggest challenge when I was applying to be a special agent was the physical fitness aspect. I was always physically fit, but I wasn't necessarily in the shape required to instantly pass the physical fitness test. So to prepare myself, um, I actually made a spreadsheet and I marked down exactly what benchmarks I needed to attain and when I needed to achieve them. So I would know five push-ups today, six push-ups next week, and so on and so forth. And so ultimately, um, I was able to keep to my schedule and I passed my physical fitness test the very first time. The most rewarding part of my job as an agent is the opportunity to actually engage with the community and see the difference that we're making. It's really when you get out there with the people that you can see that we are changing things and we're doing it for the better. Since becoming an agent, I have learned that I am able to operate in a high-speed environment um, and that you know, even when things are moving more quickly than I feel comfortable with, I'm able to keep it together and get the job done. And that really makes me feel um, kind of proud of the work that I do. One of the myths that people have about being an FBI special agent is that you need to be um, from a certain type of background. For example, you need to have come from a law enforcement background or military background, but really that's not true. We need all types of people, from accountants to teachers. Uh, we need scientists. We'll train you at Quantico and we'll teach you what you need to know but what we really just need is the right person. The biggest myth I can think of about being a black FBI agent is that we really don't exist. Um, you don't naturally tend to think about minority special agents when you're thinking of um, the image of a special agent, but really we're out there and we're making the same change that everyone else is. So I guess the, the fact of the matter is we're there when you need us and we're doing the same investigative work as everyone else. If I could choose my dream location to serve as an FBI agent, it would probably be in Guam. I really like tropical places and I like to be in faraway locations and so I think that it would be neat to serve um, out there. What I would like young African American boys and girls to know about becoming a special agent is that it's absolutely possible for them. If this is something they want to do, then they need to jump in and, and grab that opportunity. Take, take it by the horns. Um, People need to realize that the choices they make, even when they're young, shape their future. So staying away from illegal drugs is important because we have very strict requirements on that. Keeping out of trouble, not getting arrested. Do the things that would make your parents proud. Those are the things that will make your country proud and they'll help you build yourself up to where you can achieve your goals. If we want to inspire more African American citizens to become FBI agents, then we minority agents need to get out there in the community. We need to go and talk to people and let them know, this is what the job is, this is what we do, we exist, um, and, and we wanna share that experience with people. Um, I'm a huge supporter of community-based events because people then get to understand we're just like them. Um, our entire goal is to make the world a better place. It can be hard to balance your private life and your professional life, so you have to make a concerted effort to do so. You have to partition your private time um, and your, your work time. So when you're with your children, be present with your children. When you're at your job, give it 100%. You have to make sure that you put in the time for both aspects. A lot of people don't realize we have a part-time special agent program. So when I was um, with my children, they had just been born, I was actually able to go down in hours to spend more time with them. And that's time that I, I don't regret at all. And then once they were a little bit older, I came back to work full time and was able to jump right back into my career. If I could visit one place on earth, it would be South Asia. In addition to loving the food, um, there, there's just so much art, there's culture, so many different lifestyles to see in the area. Um, so I would love to take a week, a month, a year, and just go backpacking throughout South Asia. In my spare time, I can be found reading or playing ice hockey. I am currently reading a bunch of different romance novels. Um, we are definitely very tactical people as agents, but I do have a softer side, and I like to see 
a storyline where the good guys are good and the bad guys are bad. On my musical playlist right now is probably a little bit of classical music. I'm listening to The Nutcracker. If I were going to encourage you as citizens, I would want them to know that they need to be the change that they want to see, that we need to get out there and be part of the solution and proactively work together. Um, and if each of us does our part, the world will definitely be a better place. It's important that we celebrate 100 years of African-American special agents because we need to um, we need to ensure that the change that we've made is recognized, that we are a strong part of the Bureau and its history, and that we intend to be a strong part of its future as well. I'd just like to say if somebody is thinking about becoming a special agent, pick up the phone, call your field office today, talk to a recruiter. We have a wonderful chance here to do good in the world, and there's just nothing like knowing that you're making things better.